Hey guys, I have a couple of double extenders for you today. Now, these aren't just any double extenders. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I challenged you guys to make something that I called at the time a no touch extender. And uh, basically, what that is, is if you're to have a double piston extender, uh, while it's opening or closing or whenever, when it's off or on, uh, basically, if you're to have the entire wall of floor or ceiling made out of lamps, none of them would light up at any time. And uh, like I said, at the time I called it a no touch extender. However, I think I'm going to change the name to a contained double extender just because I don't want to force people to talk about refraining from touching things for like 10 minutes. Uh, so yeah, this uh, is a contained double extender. And as you see here, I only have two. I have a ceiling one and I have a wall one. So uh, if you guys would be so kind to either make these smaller or make a... Uh, uh, floor version because I was working on a floor version however uh, it was getting a bit big so I just stopped I gave up on it uh, so yeah if you guys could do that uh, it's still a challenge and I'll be glad to see your responses so uh, what this is is the ceiling one of course it extends like that and it retracts like that I'm sorry if you guys can hear the vacuum my mom's cleaning up the house uh, so yeah and this is just the wall one as you see here uh, also extends out and then the lamps light up just like that uh, so yeah I think I'm gonna just jump right into the tutorial and I'll see you guys in a bit alright so I'm gonna start things off with the ceiling extender it's nothing too fancy however it is only 27 blocks uh, so that's that if you guys can make it I think the only way to make it smaller is to either make it a uh, one wide or maybe two wide but have it four long and three tall so um you guys take a whack at that I couldn't figure it out uh, I only tried for like 20 minutes but you know, that's an hour in Zombie time. I could have been playing Quake during that time. So I just, you know, just stopped compacting. Uh, so yeah, I have an issue with that. Anyways, that's already done. Uh, that's how quick it was to make that. As you see, it extends like that and retracts like that. The way this works is, if you don't know, hoppers cannot give the item back when they're being powered. That's what that dust does. And then, uh, yeah, that just powers that piston when it's bottom there. And then this is just the falling edge monostable. So that's nice. Uh, and then over here, I'm going to start building... Hmm. No, that's not, that's not going to give me enough room. I'm going to build it to the side over here. Uh, so I'm going to start building the wall uh, double piston extender. So here we go. Just like that. There's your double piston extender. And then have a uh, sticky piston with a block there. And then that's just going to push out in front over there. And then um, I'm going to need myself another sticky piston over there. Nope, there. And then that's going to have a block of redstone on that so uh, there we go over here is your input with the redstone torch there have a repeater on two there going into a comparator which is on subtract mode we can fix that later uh, have a dust there and then another repeater there over here what you're gonna want is two dust there and this is just making a dual edge monostable and then uh, there we go repeater there and that'll just give a one tick to that uh, here, I'm going to turn this on so we can fix this, actually. Uh, there we go. Now, over here, what we're going to do uh, now is actually we're going to do something pretty cool. We're going to get the signal from this dust. However, we're abusing the fact that the redstone block redirects the dust. So only when this is off, uh, when this is retracted and that dust is pointing towards that block, then the repeater will get a signal. So that's pretty cool. And then a uh, slab here, and this will just prevent the light that's going to be over there from lighting up uh, if you're to have a regular block then you'll power that and then have another repeater there with the dust there and we should be good so there we go and there we go and this is a whole lot cooler than that one so what's happening first is uh this dual edge monostable activates that sends a one tick post to that piston it'll spit that out and then as you just saw, this torch will power this repeater, powering the comparator. That'll just stick its little thing over there. And then, of course, this dust powers these repeaters powering that block. And that'll just power it when it's extended, and it won't power uh, any lamps. That's one of the only ways to do it. The other way is to have, like, a redstone block swap, which is just way too complicated. Um, so, yeah, that's that. And then when it retracts, what happens first is this repeater turns off the comparator before this does it. Uh, before this does its thing otherwise this will just push everything out a block and then it'll be all screwed up so uh, there we go as you saw this retracted and then this retracted that piston and then what happened last was this signal was actually still on uh, so it just retracted that block into its final state 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Once again, I am challenging you to make a um, uh, one with the floor and also try and make these smaller. I think that'll be kind of fun to see. Uh, you can send me a link in the comments below or video response. I don't know. how. Do, do we even have video responses anymore? I thought, I think YouTube may have gotten rid of that. Um, so just send me a link in the comments or PM me or something. And maybe in the future, at the beginning or ending of my video, I could possibly showcase it. So I hope you guys enjoy. The world download will be in the description below. And until next time, bye.